Hey, are y'all ready for some number sense? In this video, I'm going to go over UIL number sense test B from 2020. So this is test B from 2020. And it's a mental math contest. You can only write down the answers. I will be showing some work to explain the problems. So let's go ahead and get started with number one. Okay, problem number one is an addition problem. So I'm going to add 20 plus 20, that's 40. And then I'm going to add 7 plus 4 is 11, carry a 1. So I'm going to have 21 plus 31, that's 52. And here I'm going to have, I'm going to look at the last two digits, 20 minus 20, that's 0, 0. And then I'm going to have 4 minus 7. That's going to be 14 minus 7. That's going to be 7. And then I'm going to have 30 minus 20 since I borrowed 130 minus 20 is 10. So I have 10,700. Number 3. Threes cancel out. When you have 3 divided by 3 in the numerator, those cancel. The 8 goes on top. So I have 8 over 14. Do not write 8 over 14. You have to reduce that. That's 4 over 7. 4.3 times 2.5. Uh, what I'm going to do is take 1 fourth of 43. So consider this to be 0 0.25. This is 43. So think of 43 times 0 0.25. If I take uh, 1 fourth of 43, 4 goes into 40, 10 times, remainder 3, 3 quarters, that's 75. You could write 10.75 or 10 and 3 quarters. Number 5. They want the answer as a proper fraction, so we have a percent. 42% is 42 over 100. Do not write 42 over 100. You must reduce that to 21 over 50. Reduce by a factor of 2. Number 6. We want the answer as a mixed number. 4 and 1 eighths plus 3 and 3 quarters. 3 fourths is actually 6 eighths. Then you add 6 eighths plus 1 eighth, that would be 7 eighths. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. So you have 7 and 7 eighths for number 6. Number 7 is 31 squared. 31 squared is 961. And uh, just remember that 13 squared, I think you already know that one, is 169. So if I reverse the digits, 31 squared, I have to reverse digits on 169. It's a little trick for 13 squared and 31 squared. Um, also, if you're squaring something like 31 and you don't know how to square or you didn't memorize that, then you could work it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 from 30. Now I'll add 1 to 31. So I'll make that a 32. But then I have to add, uh, let me see, where's my pen? Pen disappeared. So 30 times 32, but I have to add 1 squared because the difference was 1. So when you do that, Instead of writing a 0, you write the 1, and then you do 3 times 32, it gives you the 96. And I see also we can do that on number 13. Normally, I would not skip down, but I see there's another number squared here. <clears throat> so you can add 1 to 49, make that a 50, subtract 1 from 49, then make that a 48 plus 1 squared. So, so what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a 0. Instead of 0, I'm going to write 1 for the 1 squared. And then I'm going to do 5 times 48, which is the same as 10 times 24, 240. And maybe you already memorized that the answer is 2401. Okay, the next problem is number 8. 4 plus 5 times, a this is a negative 1. And this is a negative 1. So you're going to have negative 1 divided by negative 1. That's a positive 1. 5 times a positive 1 is just 5. Positive 5 plus 4 is 9. Number 9, which is larger, 3 eighths or 0 0.38? 3 eighths is 0.375. 3 eighths is like 380. So yeah, 0 0.38 is larger. So just write 0.38. Number 10 is an approximation, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, I have 48, 80, 80, 
50. <clears throat> so, and then I'm going to do 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19. So you can do 18 times 4, 7,200. Now, some students, this is an approximation, by the way. Some students will add digit by digit. You could add the hundreds and then add the thousands. Um, this is an approximation. This is a speed test. I would do 18 times 4, 7,200, because I'm rounding up here for the 48, the 79, the 75, and 47. The next one is you can factor out a 9, and then you're going to have 45 plus 36 times 9. 45 plus 36, if you add these two together, you get 81. 81 times 9 is 729. Number 12, what is the mode? The mode is the one that appears the most. So I see a 1717177. So I see the 7 more often, so that's going to be a 7. Uh, 49 squared, I erased it, so we can come back and do it again. 2401. Number 14. This is, has a unique shortcut. You see where these two are off by 2, and you have... The numerator is the same as this number, 13 and 13 for the numerator. So then, if this is off by 2, you subtract 2 here. 13 minus 2 is 11. And the difference of 13 over 15 is 2 squared. And that would be 2, and then you square it. That would be 4 over 15. So, uh, let me do another example for that one. So, for number 14, where you have 13 times 13 over 15... You could have a problem like 10 times 10 over 13. Now it's off by 3. So 3 squared would be 9. 9 over 13. And you have to subtract 3 from 10. So that would be 7. 7 and 9 thirteenths would be the answer for that one. Okay, for number 15, we're getting to the bottom of this. Number of 15, 13 and 26. And then that's 2. And then 13 is 0. 13 to 5, 13 to 52 is 4, so that's going to be 2000, 2004 for number 15. Number 16, 1892 times 8 plus 64. So the 1892 is actually um, 1892. Okay, so for number 16, 1892 is actually 1900 minus 8 times 8 plus 64. What happens with the minus 8 times 8, it will cancel out with the plus 64. And so now you have 1900 times 8. So I'm going to write two zeros, and I have to multiply 19 times 8 is 152. Now, one way that you could multiply 19 times 8, Eight is that you could double the 19 three times because 2 cubed is 8. So 19 double is 38. And if you double that, it's 76. And if you double the 76, that's 152. So when you multiply by 4, you double twice. When you multiply by 8, you could double three times. So number 17. Number 17 looks like an interesting problem. You have 34, 15... And 68. Now I'm looking at these two add up together, and these two add up together, and those two add up together. Those are called compatible numbers. So you're going to have 80 and 80 and 80. So you have three pairs that add up to 80. So 80 times 3 is 240. If you like number sense, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We're done with the first column. Let's go on to column number two. Number 18, the greatest common divisor for 18, 36, and 81. So 18 goes into 36, but it doesn't go into 81. 81 is 9 times 9. They all have a common factor of 9. So your answer here would be 9. 3 and a half is the square root of what? But they want the answer as a decimal. So... 3.5 is 3.5, and that has to be squared. So 3.5 times 3.5, you're going to have 25, and then you're going to have 
uh, 3 times 4, that would be 12. Looks like, looks like my marker is not working. So for number 19, the answer is 12.25. When you take 3.5 times 3.5. Number 20, 314 times 207 as an approximation. So you can make this uh, a 320 here. And you can make this a 200. So subtract 7 here and add about 6 there. So now I have 320 times 200. So I have three zeros. And 32 times 2 is 64. And so when you're doing approximations, it's good to be able to know how to round off, round up, and round down so you can get a pretty good answer. And that's 64,000 is right down the middle in that range, plus or minus 5%. Okay, that's the first 20. Let's go through the bonus problems, and we can do the next four bonus problems for today. And maybe we'll change to a different color. We'll go to red now. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Absolute value is positive 1. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Absolute value is 2. So you have 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 8. Well, this 1 and that minus 1 will cancel out. So you have a minus 2 minus 8 would be a minus 10 or negative 10. 33% of 2.6 repeating. Uh, 2.6 repeating is 2 and 2 thirds. So, which is 8 over 3. Multiply 33 times 8 over 3. And you're going to have 11 times 8 is 88 over 100 or 0.88. Remember, percent means per 100, so I have to divide by 100. 0.88. Two thirds of a gallon is how many cubic inches? <clears throat> well, you need to know that one gallon is 231 cubic inches. So I'll just write here for your notes. One gallon is 231 cubic inches. And 231 is 3 times 7 times 11. So those are the factors. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 times 11 is 231. So it's very helpful to know two, that 3, 7, 11. So many times you're going to have the denominator here will cancel with one of those three. In this case, we cancel out the 3. So now we have 7 times 11 is 77 times 2. And the answer here is 154. The slope of a line in standard form is negative a over b. So negative 4 over 5. So your formula here is going to be negative a over b for a slope in, in standard form. So negative 4 over 5. <clears throat> and that's going to be number 24. So today you got four bonus problems. And if you have any questions, leave questions in the comments and uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, hit the like button. And uh, if you want to get notifications, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. And that's going to be it for today. We will see you in the next video. Now, you can go to the playlist anytime. And there's over 30 number sense videos there. So make sure you check them all out. There's a lot of valuable information there. And if you see any problems in any tests that you're taking, let me know and I'll see if I can make a video for you or answer your questions. So in the meantime, uh, keep practicing, keep taking tests, keep studying, keep watching these videos. Thanks and see you in the next video.